Good afternoon one and all. Today we are going to discuss about the topic financial accounting. Here first of all what is accounting? Accounting is the process of recording, classifying and summarizing the monetary transactions to make the financial decisions in the organization. Here monetary transactions means anything the company purchased, anything the company have received any item or the companies are giving check or whatever the transactions the companies are making, everything the company have to record. Then after that, according to the types of the accounting, we have to classify and preparing the final accounts to produce to the government. And here, coming to the types of accounting, we have three types of accounting. Normally, we are using in the organizations, whatever the transaction done by the companies, the company normally dividing these transactions into three types, three types of the accounting that is personal account real account and nominal account coming to the personal account it deals with the individual or the organizational activities individual means for example we are paying any amount to the person cash paid to raju the amount is 3000 here raju is the individual he is come this transaction comes under the personal account here in the any accounting transactions we have to record every transaction in the double entry system process Double entry system means here two ways of the transaction we have to record. The recording process is done normally by using of two terminology of accounting that is one debit and credit. Here what is debit and what is credit according to the type of the accounting we are dividing the debit and credit we are discussing and we are uh, showing in the records that what is debiting and what is crediting. Coming to the personal account, debit is the receiver and credit is the giver. Coming to the real account, it deals with the assets, liabilities, properties, what the companies are purchasing normally for their operations. And for example, furniture purchased. Furniture is the asset for the organization. So the transaction we are showing under the real account. Coming to the debit and credit information under real account is debit is what comes in. Here that is the item or that is the property or that is the thing. That is the reason we are writing that what comes in. Coming to the credit what goes out. And third one is the nominal account. Nominal account is deals with uh, all expenses, profit, losses of the organization. This is completely current account transactions or temporary based transactions what the companies are done in the organization. Coming to the nominal account, debit is all expenses and losses comes under the debit and all incomes and gains, profits, anything the companies are incurring the amount that all comes under the credit. For example, salary is paid. Salary is the expenses for the company. The amount is 3000. So that is the expenses. That is the reason we are recording that under, under the nominal account. Here interest received or commission received. Received means interest commission means that is the income for an individual. So that is the reason that is the income we are recording under the credit side. Here how to record these all things, how to write the transactions and how to classify the transactions we will discuss in the next part. Coming to the second part of this accounting concepts is uh, accounting cycle. Accounting cycle is uh, According to the definition given by the American Institute of Chartered Accountant Association that accounting is identifying, classifying and summarizing the monetary transactions which done by the companies. According to that, accounting cycle should be first of all any transaction the companies are recording, the company has to prepare the journal, ledger and trial balance and the company have to prepare the final accounts journal is the first transactions first recording which done by the company after making a transaction the ledger is the secondary second recording the companies are done and coming to the trial balance the companies are separating and uh, separating the debit and credit information clearly under trial balance and final accounts is the companies are preparing some statements to produce to the government and also for the record purpose they are maintaining that. First of all, coming to the journal, it is an act of making records of any transactions. Here accounting is already given in the definition that accounting is recording, classifying. Recording means 
journal is comes under the recording of transactions which consisting of several recordings several recordings means several transactions we are dealing here and which either debit or credit the recording the companies are done by using of two terms that already we discussed the double entry system accordingly we have to do that debit and credit transactions and it is the first or primary entry of any transaction whatever the transaction which the companies done in the organization that primarily we are entering in the journal for example i am taking a transaction that furniture purchased with the rupees of 7000 rupees furniture is a asset asset means which comes under the real account already we discussed it and uh, how to write the journal transaction for this serial number if anything not there not given in the problem we can take the serial number one otherwise maximum transaction they will specify the date so the date or the serial number whatever the things we want to write about the transaction we have to write here then particular particular is here what is the main thing furniture purchased furniture purchased means furniture is the property means furniture purchased means what we are receiving here we are purchasing a furniture so we are receiving furniture here that is the reason i am writing here furniture account and debit the amount is 7000 why i should write the debit information first means this is the pro forma of journal entry so for this entry we have to record the transaction like this only first of all we have to write the information of debit later we have to write the information of credit for example here I have taken furniture purchased means receiving furniture we have to we must write that is account for every transaction what we are posting in the journal ledger trial balance wherever it is we have to write what is the things are going on account here furniture purchase furniture account the amount is 7000 so receiver information first we have to write then what goes out uh, we are purchasing furniture what comes in furniture comes in what goes out we are giving cash that is the reason cash is going out to cash account the amount is 7000 at the end of all the transactions we posted in the journal we have to write the amount like this this is called as tallying balancing of amounts what we are posting in the debit and what we are posting in the credit next for example we are taking a problem on general entries so that you can easily understand how to write the transactions in the journal entry book for example generalize the following transactions which the transaction done by an individual in the month of july july 1st 1st 2nd 3rd 4th 5th 6th 11th 12th 19th 20 and 22nd in the month of july the person did this many transactions for his business purpose first transaction is uh, on july 1st he had not mentioned uh, any year so no need to think about the year not mentioned in the problem sometimes they will uh, mention and sometimes they will not mention any year so first transaction is ramo started a business of 75000 rupees Purchased goods from Raju 25,000 rupees. Sold goods to Arjun rupees 20,000 rupees. Purchased goods from Banu 15,000 rupees. Sold goods to Sunil through check amount is 16,000 rupees. Goods returned to Raju 3,000 rupees. Bought furniture for the amount of 15,000 rupees by using of check. Cash paid to Raju 13,000. Cash received from Rajesh 12,000, cash withdrawal from bank 10,000 rupees, salary paid 3,000 rupees, and interest received by the company with the amount of 5,000 rupees. Coming to the general entries, how to make the entry of each and every transaction in the general book is by using of the following method. First of all, 1st July. What is the transaction on 1st July? The transaction is Ramu started a business with the amount of 75,000 rupees. Coming to the transaction, here the business is receiving amount from the 
Ramu. Ramu starting business means Ramu is giving money to the business. Who is the giver here? Ramu. That is the reason I am writing the Ramu information under credit side. What we are giving cash means the business is receiving cash. That is the reason first I have written the information of receiving that is cash account which received by business. Business. The amount is 75,000 rupees to Ramu account. To Ramu account is should write at credit side. Why? Ramu is the giver. That is the reason we have to mention clearly the transaction under credit side. So here business is receiving cash. That is the reason cash account 75,000 rupees and the giver is the Ramu. That is the reason to Ramu account the amount is 75,000 rupees. Next, second transaction is a purchase of goods from Raju with the amount of 25,000 rupees. Purchase of goods the same date, 1st July, purchase of goods from Raju. Purchase of goods from Raju means what we are receiving here according to the real account. This is personal account. Why? Because here the name is there, and here this is the real account and also which involves a personal account to how listen here first goods we are receiving goods purchase goods means we are receiving goods the amount is 25000 rupees it's clear then who is the giver the giver is raju again it comes under the personal account the upper one is real account and down one is a personal account Coming to the Raju, he is the giver of that furniture. That is the reason to Raju the amount is 25,000 rupees. Next, the tra third transaction is um, sold goods to Arjun. The amount is 20,000 rupees. Sold goods to Arjun means who is the receiver here? Selling goods to Arjun means Arjun is a receiver. So, this is personal account again. Arjun account amount is 20,000 rupees and how this transaction happened sold goods to Arjun what we are giving goods so to sales goods account that is amount is 20,000 again so the same amount we have to write under debit side and under credit side so when you bifurcations done in the transaction we should clearly mention the amount separately so here they did not mention any bifurcations or any divisions in the transactions like cash check cash and check cash or credit here any information they mentioned in the transaction accordingly we have to put that in the journal entry the fourth transaction next transaction is a purchase goods from banu the amount is 15000 rupees here purchase goods from banu means what we are receiving here goods again the amount is 15000 to banu account why we have to write the banu means banu is the giver that is the reason we are writing here goods we are receiving the receiving information first banu account banu is the giver giver account is next giver account means credit next next transaction is uh, sold goods to sunil through check the amount is 16,000 sold goods to Sunil means Sun Sunil is the receiver of the goods that is the reason the receiving information we have to post first Sunil account the amount is 16,000 rupees and the transaction done what we are giving here to sales are written here and uh, in bracket you can write goods for clarity to sales the amount is 16,000 rupees next transaction is uh, after the sold goods to Sunil the next transaction is goods return to Raju goods return to Raju means here we are returning goods to Raju Raju is the receiver or giver Raju is the receiver we are giving goods to Raju so Raju is the receiver that is the reason we return the information first the receiving information first then after the giving information raju account the amount is 3000 rupees 
नेक्स्ट वाट वी आर रिटर्निंग वाट वी आर गिविंग वी आर गिविंग गुड्स सो दट ईज थ्री थौसंड रूपी नैक्स्ट ट्रांसाशन इज बॉट फर्नीचर वित् अमौंट आफ फिफ्टीन थौसंड रूपी बै यूसिंग चेक बॉट मीन पर्चे पर्चे मीन वाट वी आर रिसीविंग हियर वी आर रिसीविंग फर्नीचर अगेन फर्नीचर द अमौंट इज फिफ्टीन थौसंड रूपी and uh, we are this is what we are giving we are giving check so instead of check in the transaction we should write to bank account so when we are receiving check we are not keeping the check with us we must give that to the bank so that is the reason i written in the transaction that to bank account the amount is 15000 rupees next next transaction is a uh, Cash paid to Raju. The amount is thirteen thousand rupees. Cash paid to Raju means Raju is the receiver here. So, receiver information first we have to write Raju account. The amount is thirteen thousand and to cash account the amount is thirteen thousand rupees. Next, next transaction is cash received from Rajesh. Here Rajesh is the giver. so that is the reason i written the transaction like cash account the amount is 12000 rupees rajesh is a giver the giver information is next second we have to post first receiving information then after the giving information to rajesh the amount is 12000 rupees next transaction is cash withdraw from bank the amount is 10000 rupees cash withdraw means we are drawing the amount who is the giver who is the means what is the transaction cash withdraw from the bank bank is the giver what they are giving cash what we are doing here we are receiving cash so here in the withdraw transaction we must write that drawing cash account the amount is 10000 rupees then here we have to write to bank account <laughs> to bank account we have to write to bank means bank is the giver that is the reason i written there to bank so 10000 rupees we have to write under the credit side next transaction is a salary paid on 20th july the transaction is salary paid the amount is 300 rupees so salary is expenses salary rent or depreciation depreciation means reduction of the value of the product price or the value of the product for example i have purchased a mobile of 10000 rupees this month after two months the mobile price is uh, reduced to 8000 or 7000 or 6000 depends so the gap 10000 to 6000 the gap 4000 is called as depreciation the depreciation is always loss for the organization so these all things comes under the nominal account means not only the expenses and losses all profits and gains also comes under the nominal account but expenses and losses comes under the debit side and gains profits anything the companies are getting in return that all comes under the credit side and according to the nominal account come to the salary account salary account is the expenses for the company the amount is 3000 given in the problem so first expenses information we have to post or debit information we have to post first what is the debit all expenses and losses what is the expense for the company now salary salary the company is paying 3000 rupees to cash account 3000 rupees in the problem if they mentioned salary paid by using of check or by using of bank transactions or anything instead of cash we have to write their bank and last transaction is a uh, interest received the amount is 5000 rupees interest is the uh, income the companies are getting so the interest is a uh, we have to post like what we are receiving against interest we are receiving cash so cash is 5000 we have to write or else we can also learn this one by using of the 
credit side credit side means all the profits and gains comes under the credit so 5000 you write under the credit side and the credit transaction how to how we have to write to interest why i'm writing like this means this is the income of the organization that is the reason i am writing this one as on 22nd july received interest so income received income means we have to write under the credit side the remaining we have to write under the debit side what we are receiving here cash that is the amount of 5000 and uh, totaling of all the transactions amounts debit side information and credit side information we have to add together finally we will get this answer this is called as tallying for every transaction what we are doing in the general ledger wherever it is we have to do like this